good day everyone so now um, we will be discussing about uh, how to program the ports of arm 7 processor so first of all we should understand there is uh, basically two ports in uh, arm 7 processor so we will be trying to program that and uh, we will directly get into the program so this is the program for uh, activating the port 0 as an output port and at the same time making the uh, mean output of uh, the port pins to go high and, and uh, remain high for some time and uh, then go uh, low and uh, it will be remaining for the same amount of time um, as a low so this is the program for that so we can uh, see what are all the uh, functions of each and every instructions here the first instruction area space um, the label comma space code comma space read only so this is uh, we have uh, already seen in the previous programmings so area specifies what is the area is about and the label you can give whatever the label that you want and the um, thing that we are going to write over here is the code and uh, this will be uh, placed in, in the read only memory so that is the meaning so this is mandatory for all the programs and uh, next is <coughs> the initialization of the uh, special function registers here IO0 DAR EQU0X E002800 is a uh, assembler directive instruction so this instruction what it does is it replaces wherever this uh, label is available IO0 DAR for example here I have written with the value E002800 so this E002800 is a address of IO0 DAR register so IO0 DAR is a uh, direction register so wherein you specify which direction your IO ports uh, will behave in either it will be behaving as an input port or as an output port so that uh, will be deciding uh, using this um, register so this registers uh, and uh, address is specified over here so that's it and coming to the next uh, instruction that is IO0 set EQU EQU is the assembler directive instruction I am equating it to 0xe002804 so this is the memory address for this uh, special function register IO0 set as uh, this one is the uh, memory address for IO0 DAR so <coughs> so wherever uh, I am writing IO0 set that will be replaced with uh, this particular address IO0 set is basically to make the uh, ports port pins set wherever you put one that particular bit pin of the port uh, 0 will get high so that is the meaning of IO0 set and IO0 clear it has the memory address like this E0x E002800C so again in this IO0 clear register wherever you are putting 1 that particular port pin will get cleared so wherever you are putting 1 uh, as far as IO0 set is concerned that particular port pin will get set that is high it will become high and uh, the reverse will happen over here IO0 clear wherever you are putting uh, uh, whichever bit you are making it as 1 that particular uh, bit will go low it will get cleared so this is IO0 pin so in case like I don't want to use it to the case of IO0 set and IO0 clear I can directly put the values into IO0 pin whatever the output that I want from the uh, port pins so one zero if I give whatever the values uh, inside that IO0 pin the same value I'll be obtaining through the port pins IO0 pin is a register special function register wherein I'll uh, if I put some values that value will be given as an output from the uh, port 0 so that is the meaning of this IO0 pin <coughs> coming to the program so this is the uh, assembly language program that is getting started so the first instruction LDR R0 comma equal to IO0 DIR it uh, transfers the content 0x e002800 into R0 register so wherever I am putting this label this is connected with this memory address so this memory address is the memory address of IO0 TIR register so that memory address gets into R0 then LDR R1 comma equal to 0x so FF, FF, FF means all the values I am making it as high all the port bits I am making it as high so that uh, content I am moving it into R1 register so when I am putting str R1 comma within brackets R0 this content moves into this particular memory address because IO0 DAR is connected with this one 0x E002808 so to this memory address I am putting 
all the values as f which means that in io0 dar register i am making all the uh, bits as high so if i am making all the bits as high the direction will be uh, assigned as output port so all the port pins will behave as a output port pins all the port pins will behave as an output port pins wherever you are putting zero that port pin will behave as an input port pin so as uh, as far as this is concerned we have made every port pin, uh, bit i mean uh, every bit of uh, io0 dir register as high so obviously every port pin of uh, port 0 will behave as a output port only output port pin only so uh, this three instruction does the job of initializing the io0 dir register so that your port 0 behaves as a output port then ldr r2 comma equal to io0 set so i am um, moving the cutnet 0 x d double 0 2 8 double 0 4 into r2 register and str r1 comma uh, within brackets r2 so this uh, <coughs> Uh, R1, R1 is having F, 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 F. So all the values are one. So I am making, I mean, I am putting this value into I O zero set. So I am making all the bits of I O zero set register to go high, so that my port pins, all the port pins are going high. Then after that, I am uh, calling the delay, B L delay. B L means branch with link. It's equivalent to call, call instruction in L zero five one microcontroller. So B L delay. When this instruction is executed, your uh, <coughs> program counter moves to this memory address. This is the subroutine, delay subroutine. So here, what I am doing is I am uh, moving a content zero x double zero f f f f f f into the R four register. So some value I am putting inside R four register. So to give a delayed timing so subs r4 comma r4 comma has 0x01 sub you know what it is that uh, it is doing subtract subs means subtract and uh, um, affect the flags af after the completion of arithmetic operation so that is the function done by this subs r4 comma r4 comma hash 0x01 so each and every time when it is subtracting it is subtracting this value by 1 so it will uh, give um, um, considerable amount of time so the uh, going high and uh, the timing between going high and uh, going low can be sensed by the human eye so this value should be chosen in such a way that it is uh, sensed by the human eye then after r4 goes to 0 I am coming out of this loop so BNE means branch if not equal if R4 is not equal then again and again it will go and subtract sub and uh, it will return back so it will be in this loop until your R4 goes to 0 when R4 goes to 0 BXLR it is equivalent to return instruction in the subroutine of uh, um, 8051 so here in this case uh, in ARM 7 processor BX means branch with exchange branch exchange uh, with uh, PC LR is LR content is exchanged with the program counter so that uh, it returns back to the uh, next instruction of this uh, uh, call instruction so here LDR R3 comma equal to IO0 clear so <coughs> IO0 clear is having the memory address of 0x E00 2800C so that is moved into R3 so now uh, the same FFFF is moved into IO0 clear so uh, what happens is all the values of uh, I, uh, the port 0 all the port pins of port 0 will go low when I am putting uh, all the values of IO0 clear as uh, high so that is happening over here and again I am using this BL delay to come over here to execute the uh, delay timing so after this is over it comes to b start b start means branch start start is, is a label so when this instruction is executed it comes again and it executes the thing again and again until we press the stop button so this is the program and uh, let us see how does it work so as we have done earlier we'll do this translate build and rebuild then start stop debug session so we have uh, got into the start stop debug session now you uh, go to the peripherals and click GPIO slow interface port 0 so this is the uh, port that we are concerned with and uh, click this uh, run button now you can see all the values are uh, I mean high then it has gone low then after uh, some time again it is going high so it is like blinking 
so it is like if, if um, uh, leds are connected to these uh, port pins it will blink in this fashion so that is this uh, led programming you can say that this program is a led programming okay this is the explanation for uh, output programming for uh, ports and uh, in case if i want to do both uh, i mean i want to take some input and at the same time output then i'll go for the next programming that is i'm considering this as switch and led okay so this is a uh, switch and led program so i'll be using one port the port 0 as a output port as i have done earlier while uh, port 1 i'll be using it as an input port so in this case <coughs> uh, io0 dar is initialized with a with its um, uh, memory address as we have done earlier io1 dar with its memory address you can type it with uh, caps only and uh, correspondingly IO0 set, IO1 set, IO0 clear, IO1 clear, IO0 pin and IO1 pin all has been initialized with its uh, memory addresses. So inside the program the first uh, IO0 DAR I am uh, I'm moving it into R0 and R1 I am moving it with FFFF so that value I am putting into the R0 I mean R0 in the sense of the IO0 DAR so that my port 0 behaves as a output port and uh, LDR R5 comma IO1 DAR MOV R6 comma 0x0 STR R6 comma R5 R5 within brackets R5 in the sense I, to IO1 DAR I am moving 0 so your uh, port 1 will behave as a input port so that's it then uh, LDR R7 comma equal to IO1 pin and MOV R9 comma 0x0 uh, then STR R9 comma within brackets R7 this is to clear the uh, port pins so before we go for reading the uh, port pins we are we have to clear that one so the, uh, now it has been cleared and uh, at this juncture LDR R8 comma R7 so R7 is IO1 pin so from uh, IO1 pin we are going to read the content of the input port so input port so what I have uh, made over here is like um, when um, the value of the imp uh, I mean the value that has been obtained from the input port that is port 1 if it is 8000000 then uh, my alternate LEDs will be blinking for all the other cases uh, whole uh, mean all the LEDs will be blinking so to make alternate LEDs blinking, I'm using this particular uh, value. A A A A A defines that uh, 1010 for a A uh, in hexadecimal. Its equivalent binary will be 1010. So okay. So uh, to check whether the input is input is 8000000 from the port one, what I'm doing is I'm initializing R10 with the value of 8000000 and whatever the value that I have got from the port one that is available in R8. So that I'm comparing it with R10. So if <laughs> here in this case, I'm using B and E. So this checking whether it is equivalent to 80000. If it is not 80000, then obviously the zero flag will not be set. So BNE means branch if not equal. So this checks only the zero flag. It is not uh, concerned with whether it is larger or smaller. So uh, if uh, uh, 8000 is not there, so it will jump this instruction and it will go into LDR R2 comma equal to IO0 set. So STR R1 comma uh, then brackets R2. What is there in R2? R2 has the, you can see, R2 as the IO0 set. So uh, towards the R2, R1 value FFFF is moved. In case if uh, the port uh, pin, that is the input port, port 1 is having the value of 8000000, then uh, instead of it jumping over here, it enters into this instruction and changes the value of R1. Otherwise, R1 remains the same. So R1 value is changed and it becomes like 10101010. So that is uh, moved into IO0 set and uh, correspondingly 
after the uh, after you put the value inside your uh, io0 set you you call the delay bl delay branch with link delay then ldr r3 comma equal to io0 clear so i am initializing r3 with io0 clear then str r1 comma r3 the same value either it might be a a a a or it might be f f f f f that is moved into io0 clear and uh, <coughs> so um, that is moved into io0 clear by this instruction str r1 comma within brackets r3 after that again the delay is called and then branch to start again so this delay subroutine is the same as the previous one you move some value into the r4 and you subtract it and you check whether it has gone to zero if it is not gone to zero again and again you go for subtracting and uh, when it has gone to zero then bxl that is return to the main program so this is the programming for switch and led let us check the output so now both port 0 and port 1 is essential slow so I am taking port 1 also now let me run so you can see the how all LEDs are blinking now let me make this uh, port pins as 80000 to do that I will be unchecking all the values over here So you can see now 8000 is there in uh, IO1 pin and you can see alternate LEDs are blinking. So this is the program for uh, switch and LED. You can add as many conditions as you want. So this uh, in this case only one condition I have given. In case if you want to have uh, uh, 8800 that also you can add and you can make some changes as such. So. Uh, so that uh, you can try in uh, over here you can add mo R11 comma hash 0x instead of 8 I can put uh, 8 b b in the sense uh, two values will be set EMP R8 comma R11 so this will be checking then I'll put uh, like this maybe so in this case I can make it like this also 0 0 0 0 so here I'll put B N E L P 1 so L P 1 should come here so so I have uh, added two conditions So let me check. Okay, now uh, all the LEDs are blinking. So I'll make it as B and I'll check. Okay. Now it is B, so I have made it as B, so you can see 
um, I mean the different LEDs are blinking the I mean uh, in between uh, cases uh, I have made it as zero so those are not blinking and uh, one other condition is eight so I'll make it as eight so alternate LEDs blinking so I'll make it like this so all the LEDs are blinking so this is one condition I mean two conditions I have added so you can try as many conditions as you want to make different patterns so this is the example for port programming thank you